Hey guys, welcome back to Modish Tech. You're watching SAP TechEd 2024 Rewind. Now, in this series, we have already talked about platform specific announcements of SAP BTP. If you have not watched it, the link is just here. You can watch it. In this particular episode, we are going to talk about announcements from application development and automation pillar. So grab a coffee, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. Let's simplify it for you. The announcements from application development and automation pillar of SAP Business Technology Platform. Application development and automation started with a very important message. The message was keeping the core clean. Now, it's not a surprise because every SAP event you go, this is the clear message nowadays. And it is important as well because that's how you ensure that all your business critical applications are working and you can have your worry-free upgrades and maintain your systems. But is it practical? Depends on your situation. If you're starting today, yes, it is 100% practical. You do not have any burden. You can start now. But think about customers who have these customizations accumulated over years. And now we are talking about extensions moving to SAP Business Technology Platform. Probably that could be very difficult for them because they need to assess their business impact and then how these customizations are going to move to SAP BTP. So obviously they need time, but SAP emphasized that clean core is the way forward and use of SAP Business Technology Platform to create those side-by-side -side extensions is very important. Let's now talk about announcements. The first major announcement for me was a BAP Cloud inclusion in SAP Build. The reason for that is very simple. Remember first time when SAP Build was introduced, it was only for citizen developers. It was only for business users who can create applications. And one year later, SAP Build actually included ProCore developers as well, but they left behind ABAP friends. This year, ABAP Cloud support has been added, which means ABAPers can now have access to ABAP development tool, as well as ABAP development environments for SAP S4 HANA Cloud, which means that developers can now create and maintain their ABAP Cloud projects straight from SAP Build. So SAP Build now is completely an inclusive product from my perspective. But here is a question. Will the ABAP developers be happy to use SAP Build or they will still be using Eclipse? Only time will tell. The second announcement was regarding extensibility. SAP is coming up with extensibility wizard for S4 HANA Cloud Public Edition, where developers will have direct access to SAP Build and they can directly go in and create their extension projects. They can extend custom fields or business processes, or they can also do on stack or side by side extensions directly from SAP Build from S4 HANA Public Edition. Part of the announcements were some Gen AI related features that can boost developers' efficiency. Imagine you're doing um, development in SAP Build code and you want to know the code that has been generated, you just want to understand it. You can now use the feature where Joule can explain what the code is doing. You can also search SAP documentation straight from SAP Build code, that will help you save time and focus on the development. If you have any technical queries, you just search over there and you get the search results. And based on that, you start coding. There will be some more enhancements where you can create Fiori applications or mobile applications straight from SAP Build code. So all these features are basically embedded into Joomla. 
which is part of SAP Build Code. Joule can now generate a BAP codes and that too of high standards. All thanks to the ABAP large language model, which has been trained on 250 million lines of code from S4 HANA. Joule will also have the capability to give explanation regarding a legacy code that will obviously help the developer when they are migrating these old styled or legacy codes to new style or ABAP cloud environment when they are doing the clean core exercise. That will be really handy. With the help of Joule, you can also now create your workflows or the processes which you use to do in SAP Build Process Automation. So you can directly type in your requirements and Joule will be able to assist you in creating those workflows. SAP is giving boost to um, Task Center as well. They are infusing Gen AI features and here you will be able to um, see the recommendations for approval process for your workflows and the automations. SAP, SAP Build Work Zone Standard Edition is also getting Gen AI Boost. Joule is getting integrated. Now, whether that will be just one tile where you can just um, launch Joule or it could be something else, only time will tell. But there is also news that it will be integrated to SAP Mobile Start. When Joule was introduced, this was the question which everyone was asking. Will Joule have only those skills which SAP would be training on or we can add our own skills as well? Here is the answer. Joule Studio is now part of SAP Build where you can create your own skills and then integrate to Joule. So this is a big step forward. So wrapping this up now, here is a quick summary of what we have seen in application development and automation space. SAP reminded us about Clean Core and how you can achieve all this using SAP BTP side-by-side -side extensibility if you have to do any extensions. SAP Build now welcoming ABAP developers with their support extending to ABAP Cloud environment as well. The extensibility wizard, which will help developers on SAP S4 HANA Cloud Public Edition to do all the extensions directly from SAP Build. We also saw so many enhancements to SAP Build uh, included with Joule and the new Joule capabilities and the custom skills you can do with the Joule Studio, which will be available in SAP Build. Thanks a lot for watching this particular episode, which was on application development and automation announcements from SAP TechEd 2024. Coming up next are different episodes based on different pillars, all the announcements simplified for you. Keep watching Modish Tech. Thank you.